You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. in Lake City for the 59th annual South Carolina Tobacco Festival. That means it started back in 1954. You know what this is? Uh, lettuce. <laughs> no, it's tobacco. Tobacco, Yeah, of yeah. Now, this is when tobacco was king, but now here's what we're doing here. We are celebrating our farming heritage. How about that? Yeah, taking a look back. This is a really great celebration going on all weekend. There's going to be food oh. and live entertainment. There's going to be yeah. dancing in the streets. It's going to be unbelievable. Last night, they had the blue, you know, the bluegrass. The bluegrass yeah, and they yeah. had a big crowd here for that, too. When they put on a show here in Lake City, let me tell you, they do it right. They certainly do. We're going to tell you all about it over the next 30 minutes. And um, you going to yeah. gnaw on this a little bit? Yeah, I'm going to. Pop yeah. that, pop that yeah. in your mouth. All right, let's check on that weekend <laughs> weather. Well, what a different view from Lake City to across the Grand Strand right now. We have some clouds that are beginning to overstream across the area. You can see them on your 2nd Avenue pier camera. Now they are dry. The conditions out there are dry for the most part. We are tracking a few showers up into North Carolina, and that's where the temperatures are noticeably cooler. Lumberton at 69, Whitefield 69. These are more of the splasher dashers and where the clouds have been a little bit thicker. 79 in Myrtle Beach and North Myrtle Beach, 82 in Florence, 81 in Darlington, but you see Laurenburg at 73. We've had this little disturbance passing by to our north. That's what's keeping us underneath those clouds. You see those showers right there passing by. They may briefly bring in a sprinkle for parts of the northern ends of Horry County at worst. Not an issue for rain today. The rain will be coming an issue uh, late Saturday, it looks like, in through Sunday as that front off to our west moves on in. Today will call for partly sunny skies. It's really going to vary. Mostly cloudy skies, certainly not out of the question for areas up along the border where that disturbance is. We'll stay closer to the lower end of the 80s or even upper 70s in those areas where you see a little more sunshine. You'll climb to the mid 80s. Your seven day forecast really sees the rain moving into the Grand Strand late Saturday and in through Sunday. May come in toward an afternoon, a late afternoon and evening shower, thunderstorm for the inland areas, especially west of 95. Fall begins on Sunday, but it looks like it's going to be a little gray and soggy at times. Again, the better chance for rain will be on Sunday area wide, but even for the inland areas, rain moving in late in the day on Saturday overnight and in through the day on Sunday. So keep that in mind for your weekend plans. Sunday is going to be our wetter day, but even on Saturday, can't rule out a few showers late in the day and into Saturday night to Sunday morning. But at least we dry out as we head to the middle of next week. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. South Carolina, and we're talking about the 59th Annual Tobacco Festival. Let me tell you, this is a great, great show. I mean, they start early with this, and they really keep going with it. The people here know how to have a good time. They've got a ton of bands coming up. They have a ton of contests, too. They have a hula hooping contest. They have a best legs contest for men. Are you going to enter in that? Yeah. I don't know if I can make that one. I don't know about that one. Let you me just have a really good time. There's so much going on over here in the Jones and Carter Bill now. They have an amazing art exhibit. $28 million worth of artwork. Something this you won't see. the smallest venue ever on the, on the schedule right now. That's and you've got a chance to come here and see it. And they have armed guards over there in case you're trying to get one of the pictures. It is unbelievable yeah. what they have. You can go to lakecitysc.com to find out some more, or .org to find out some more information. But we're going to tell you all about it coming up. So don't go don't anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Okay. Carolina and Company Live, it's a show for the community, about the community. We focus on events going on, local businesses, things that families can do together. And when I moved here, I not only fell in love with the beach, but the people here and the community. And I feel so privileged to be a part of a show like this, where we get to help the community and go out and meet them and just have fun with them and hopefully provide a fun show and an enjoyable show for them to watch. Welcome to another amazing year of the Polly's Island Festival of Music and Art, September 28th through October 12th. The event kicks off with Chalk Under the Oaks beginning at 10 a.m. Wine and dine at the 14th Annual Polly's Island Gala on October 4th, complete with a silent auction and live entertainment. And don't miss talented artists and their students demonstrating their incredible artistry during the Seaside Palette on Plain Air on October 5th from 10 to 4 p.m. For more information or a complete list of festival events, visit polysmusic.com. Brought to you by WPDE News Channel 15 and these fine sponsors. 
And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're in Lake City, and this is where you need to be for the weekend because the Tobacco Festival is happening. That's right. It started last night, and we've got Greg Moore with us, the Chamber President. And this is a great time. Everybody needs to come out here, huh? Look, it's September in beautiful downtown Lake City, South Carolina, and that can only mean one thing. It's the 59th Annual South Carolina Tobacco Festival. We're in day two of a four-day festival. Uh, we've got tonight an absolutely free concert. It's the Band of Oz, legendary wow. local people. Free. Tomorrow night, we've got the fantastic shakers. Once again, that's wow. free. Your cups, your coolers, your koozies, and your chairs are all welcome here. Uh, come on down, have a great time. we got a South Carolina Barbecue Association sanctioned cook-off. It's going right over here to my right. But uh, a $5 bracelet tonight will get you 12 wings. $5 bracelet tomorrow will get you almost a pound and a half of barbecue. Yeah. You cannot oh. beat those deals. It's going to be loads and loads of fun here. And I hope everybody comes down to Lake City. Well, it gets bigger every year. I mean, y'all keep adding stuff. You're going to have to go five days before long. Uh, uh, absolutely. And our goal <laughs> at the Tobacco Festival is to add one more person coming into town than we had last year. And I feel confident that we're going to exceed our goal by a thousand. There's going to be a ton of people in Lake City and I hope all of y'all out there come on down here. We just have so much going on and it's a great place to come and hang out. Beautiful weather. Oh yes, we've hit a home run absolutely <laughs> perfect with the weather. So um, we're expecting huge crowds and there's lots of fun. We've got the Low Country Bush Hookers. They're doing a $500 Biggest Catfish Contest. Wow. There'll be over 100 people on local rivers tonight fishing. We hope they're all safe and, they, and we hope they bring 50, 60 pound catfish for us to look at tomorrow. Wow, that's pretty cool. Now, this area that you have here, tell them where we are. This is a great area for all. Uh, of we're in the Village Green, which is uh, downtown Lake City. It's right beside Henry Street, right on the side of Church Street. Um, this is our part of our cultural complex here in town. We've got the Jones Carter Gallery on one side. We've got the Bean Market. Of course, we have the legendary Chamber Depot back here. The <laughs> building is celebrating its second century, just like the Chamber is. Hmm. Uh, we've got the library right across the road, but this is the heart of our city, and uh, this is going to be the core of our festival. And uh, we've got a couple of other events on the periphery. We've got something down at the old Ragsdale building, car show. It's going to be over 150 classic cars out there. And uh, we've got couple people that come up and tell you uh, some more about other events coming on in, in town. The thing about the Tobacco Festival, which is fantastic, is it is a Chamber of Commerce event, but we have a lot of other organizations that come in and help support us. All right, now you got a little monument right down the street here now. Tell them about the monument. Uh, that is the that's Dr. Ronald E. It. McNair Monument, and that is one of our iconic structures here in it Lake is. City. So uh, our favorite son, obviously a hero and a legendary person. Absolutely. That's right. If you come to the festival, you've got to go by and check out the monument. It's in walking distance from where we are right now. One of the many, many fantastic things in Lake City. In fact, we have a map of all of our cultural and iconic destinations here at the Chamber of Commerce. Stop on in, we'll be happy to give you a copy of it. Yes, all and right. stop on in to Lake City this weekend because this is the place to be. Yeah. Stick with us, we'll be right back. Barbecue, that's what I want. All right, we'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're in Lake City. It is beautiful. The weather is going to be so great. There's so much stuff going on here, man. That's right. The South Carolina Tobacco Festival. And right now we have Hannah Davis with the Jones and Carter Gallery and Tony Turner with Flying Tigers. And first, we're going to start with the gallery. I just got a sneak peek. You guys have a phenomenal exhibit in there. Thank you so much. Yeah, this weekend on Saturday at 10 a.m., we're actually opening our first ever major Smithsonian art exhibition. It's William H. Johnson and American Modern. And we're so excited to have it here in Lake City. You know, we've had the Smithsonian town the past couple of days and they're super impressed. We're happy and we're ready for the public to see it. Admission is completely free. The entire time the gallery is open, we'll be open until 9 p.m. tomorrow night. It's and unbelievable it, that it's free and this is the great. smallest place ever that this will go. There's only nine stops on the tour and the Correct. next biggest city is Baltimore, right? Right, right. <laughs> Just put that's, that in perspective a little bit. That's it's, amazing. It's amazing. We have a national gallery in Lake City, South Carolina. How unbelievable is this? I mean, we are we are so thrilled. And you're going to be really thrilled on this. We're talking about $28 million collection. That's why there's people over there with machine guns guarding everything. <laughs> It is Correct. We do have some pretty extensive security measures in check, so make sure you leave your large bags in your cars or at home, <laughs> and um, don't bring any food or drink in. But enjoy the tobacco festival and enjoy enjoy the gallery. Yeah, really a great opportunity yeah. to go see that um, piece of art. And the artist is actually from Florence. From Florence, yes, he's a Florence son, and he um, is amazing. Okay, now let's it talk is. about flying tigers. 
What does that mean? Yeah, now what is that? It's an RC club located here in Lake City. Uh, RC, now, a lot of people won't know. That's remote control. Remote controlled airplanes. Yeah, right. Primarily airplanes, but we do also cars, trucks, that, you know. Um, been in existence about 16 years, and right now we're having our annual event of the year, and it goes from Friday to Sunday. There's open flying today, uh, be some night flying tonight under uh, stadium lights, right. as well as self lit airplanes flying on one runway. Uh, shortly after dark, we got a surprise. Really? And uh, <laughs> the field will be open all day tomorrow. Public is welcome, it's free. Now, we're talking these planes, great. some of them are big. Yeah, how, so is this uh, like my yeah. little remote? We got them from 12 inch wingspan up to 120, 150 inch wingspan. Wow! Big plane. You can almost ride in one. You yes. could. That's amazing. Now, how long have you been controlled? doing that? How long uh, have you been about five about? years. About five years? Yes. So have really? you crashed any of them? Uh, Quite a few. Quite a few. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fun. It's going to be a lot of fun in you. How many participants you going to have, you think? There's usually about 125 to 150 pilots. Wow. And being linked to the tobacco festival, I'm not sure how many public. So you so got you got to have a lot of them flying got, around. A lot of, yeah. Well, that's, that's amazing. Okay. Wow, really a sight If I come out there, can I fly one? No. Sure. Tell them no. Huh? Tell them yeah. no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, for more information, you can go on our website if you want to do so. All right, tell them. www.flyingtigersrc.com got all the information on the flyer. And one more time, where are you located? Um, 1443 McKnight Road. Right. It's about three miles out of town. Okay, so you all have right. to go out there and check that out. And while you're here, you also have to hop over there to that gallery. You gotta it see it. at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Yes. And really an exciting sight. So much going on here. We're gonna talk more about it coming back. Stick with us. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We're in Lake City at the 59th Annual Tobacco Festival. It started back in 1954. We're going to have vendors. We got all kind of stuff going I'll tell here. you what, it is the place to be this weekend. It kicked off last night and it's going all weekend. And we've got Roger and Jennifer here with us. And people need to come here. I mean, there is just so much going on. We've talked Absolutely. about all the live entertainment, the dancing, the contests. There's vendors and food. We have actually, um, over 60 arts and crafts vendors this year, which is a step up from last year. Um, they'll be located here in the Bean Market, and also we'll have some over the ACL building on Irvin, on Irvin Street. Okay, very nice. We've also nice. got some up here underneath the trestles. We'll yeah. have food vendors up and down Henry Street. We've got all the barbecue cookers in the parking lot back here. We've got a great golf tournament Sunday afternoon over at Lake City Country Club. Um, it's just going to be a great event all weekend long. Now, can people still get involved in that golf tournament? Yeah, Is there still one. time? We have sign-ups that morning as well, yes. Okay, so you can just show up. That's right. All right, all right very now, nice. Talk about vendors. Let's talk about food. What kind of food we got? We've all got plans. everything <clears throat> from funnel cakes to ribs oh, yes. to barbecue chicken. Uh, a lot of these vendors came down during our Art Fields Festival, and they wanted to come back for another one. So uh, we're getting vendors from all over the state, not just Lake City, but um, cookers from everywhere. So if I wanted to gain weight, this is a good place to come to, right? <laughs> I did a pretty good job of that myself, so yes. Well, I can come had, eat a lot of food. There was a, a barbecue guy that was setting up at 5 o'clock this morning. He I was. mean, they are yes. gun ho and ready Still to go. Here. They're going to start cooking their wings here shortly for the wing off tonight. Um, we judge the wings and they get a prize for that. And then we'll judge the barbecue tomorrow morning. And that's the wing throwdown. And you pay, what, $5? $5, and $5 you get to for taste a band and you can eat. Um, I think we've got 11 or 12 uh, cookers, so you'll have 12 wings for five dollars. Well, what I think is great, y'all bring a lot of beach music in here too. You got uh, we love you know, beach two music. Two nights of it. You got uh, <laughs> uh, the, the, the shakers. We got the shakers that were brought to us by Ice Recycling. They're going right. to be tomorrow night. Okay. I think they take stage at eight o'clock um, tonight. IGA brought us the Band of Oz. Band of sure. Oz and wow. street dancing. People will be dancing everywhere, right? right. And we will have Dan Elock and me here to DJ the whole Danny boy. big show. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Danny, not been impressed for a long time. Now, He's about, older than I am, though. That's what you're <laughs> talk yeah, about some of the contests. I want to point out that you won one of these contests. You did? Right? I finished a strong second Se in the second. second. Strong that's, second. That's, that's winning in my eyes. Yeah. That was, was up, the, the legs contest. I was up against a young, young teenager from town, so I let him take it. <laughs> did you let him take it? What did you do? What did you cook? What kind of? No, no, we're uh, talking about the hot legs contest. Oh, the hot legs? Then, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about... Your, 
Yeah. So, <laughs> I didn't Wait, say how many fin- people me, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me look again. You finished second with those legs? I did. <laughs> we think he's on um, self I'm going to tell you what, the guy that won, I don't know how you did it then. <laughs> well, the third guy was dressed like a pirate. So. He was? <laughs> hey. <laughs> we just have a lot of stuff going on so that people have a good time. I and mean, don't forget about the kids zone. About. We have a great kids zone with petting zoo, a climbing wall, and t- bouncies, and located over behind the pole barn. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, We're talking very about nice. 59th annual. There are a lot of people probably watching that came to the first one back in 1954. Well, come to this one. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> Already underway. Two more days of it. Absolutely. The place to be. Stick with us. I think we're doing something with tobacco next. And coming up next on WPDE at 1 p.m., the 2, and at 5 p.m., Dr. Oz, the viewers control everything that goes on during the show, including topics, wardrobes, and props. Tonight, 7.30, Entertainment Tonight, 8 p.m., Last Man Standing, Thank and at you. 9 p.m., be sure to check Shark Tank out. It's going to be a good one. And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Now, we've got some tobacco in hand. It's not lettuce, it's tobacco. That's tobacco. And Ms. Shelby is here with us. And, you know, we're talking about this is the 59th annual for this festival festival so way back when this is what they were doing with tobacco. You didn't, you've never seen this probably because you're too young and tobacco fields are very few now in the area but this is what they call stringing right? That's correct and this is green tobacco. Okay. And right. after it's strong then it will become redried tobacco. And it'll put in the tobacco houses. Yeah well they, they redried in the barns. That's right. That's All right. Well, show us how you do it. And you have two handers normally but we're oh, improvising. Oh well, I can hand here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a hander. This is the way they did it in the 50s. Okay. Did I hand that to you right? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's how they did it? They just wrap it? They did it and wrapped it on both sides mm-hmm. of the stick. Yeah. Just throw it over. You done there this we before? Well, my grandfather had a farm, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did. I did. Well, in the good. summers, I visited him. You're so fast, I can't well, even well, hand well, them well, to well, you fast enough. Fast y'all, enough. <laughs> listen, y'all have got to get the ends right now. you got to okay. right. level. Amber's <laughs> a little slow over there handing them over to me. Yeah. Okay, there we come. Look at her. I got the stick. You got, got the stick? stick. Okay, keep we'll, keep, we'll keep going then. There we go. Look at her. Man, yeah. she is tearing it up. Rocking it away. But we're having a contest um, tomorrow afternoon. Really? And we'll have um, people stringing against each other, and there'll be prizes. That's great. For the winners. So wow. if you know how to do this, so then you have to enter. And if you don't know how to do this, then pay we'll, attention right now. We'll teach you. Oh, we'll teach you. teach you. Lift, lift it up great. a little. Lift it up. I want to show you. All right, now, after you finish stringing, this is what happens. You go into a tobacco barn. I've done this before, too. I thought it was an easy job until I did it for about an hour and a half, and I quit. But you take it, and you hang it. They hand it to you, and then you take it up into the barn and sit it into the barn for it to cure. That's correct. And in South Carolina, it's called flu-cured. That's right. In North Carolina, it's burly. That's right. Huh. Kentucky is, you ever been to Kentucky? Tobacco's different looking in Kentucky, too. Well, they dry yeah. it in a barn here, uh-huh. and they dry it, they just hang it. Not on a stick, but just yeah. the whole stalk in in, in oh. Kentucky. So that's a little different. That's, now. that's why it's called burly, yeah. But I like the old style, the heritage of watching somebody string. Well, that's what we're going to do. We're yeah. going to teach I, people that have never seen it. <laughs> that's great, what? and that'll and, be a lot of fun. And you, I bet. You, you went so fast. It probably takes no, me quite I a while. Was, oh, well, I was a little slow, actually. <laughs> She's slow. talking about us hey, because the handy was slow. Let me tell you, you know I that, worked right? on a farm one day and quit. I couldn't handle it. And I wore a back. First job was riding on the back of a drag and, you know, putting the back in the drag. Then I tried stringing. Then I said, no, let me do the barn. After that, I quit. Well, it's unbelievable know, work back then. You've been coming into this festival for a long time. How has it changed over the years, and how have you seen it grow? Oh, it's grown, and and we have this wonderful green now to put everything on. We used to put it all over town, but this works so well for um, for us this to do it. Beautiful back One more thing I'm gonna say about tobacco. Okay. It was the largest income producer in the state of South it Carolina. It was the money crop in the 50s. It was yes. called the money crop. It sure was. Absolutely, millions of dollars. That's right. That's it. And what they're celebrating here is the heritage. 59th annual, starting back in 1954. I remember it. I was six. I can remember. <laughs> I was six years old back then. Well, thank you so I much for teenager. showing us how to do it. You were a teenager? 54, yes. Woo! All right. All right. Well, thank you so We've much. Got you both stick with us. Yes. We'll be right back in just a second. We're here. It doesn't have to be just a trip to the park. 
pets are welcomed at Coastline Pet Supply. Our pets don't get to choose where to shop, and pet parents who care shop at Coastline Pet Supply. They specialize in holistic and premium pet foods. Don't shop big box, shop local, and receive the personal service your pet deserves. Be sure to take advantage of this week's in-store special at Coastline Pet Supply. Here at Surfboard Promotions, we've been helping business promote their brands throughout the PD and along the Grand Strand since 1997. Screen printing, embroidery, promotional products, signs, banners, flags, vehicle wraps. We have everything and more to promote your business at Surfboard Promotions. Here at Surfboard Promotions, we've been helping business promote their brands throughout the PD and along the Grand Strand since 1997. Screen printing, embroidery, promotional products, signs, banners, flags, vehicle wraps. We have everything and more to promote your business at Surfboard Promotions. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live, live in Lake City, the Tobacco Festival. And look at this. Check you do this, this out. Yeah, we were here this morning, and I did it with the assistance of my photographer, Keith, I would say. He <laughs> yep, did a little more, bit of it. More of it than me. He's, he's very artistic. I saw you but the knife it's in a it. lot of fun. Yeah, I, saw you I do did. That and part. it split all open. <laughs> um, and then this was the winner from last night. They had the contest, and it was a six year old named. Emily. So Emily congratulations to her. But just a yeah. lot of fun stuff you guys have That's going on here. a lot of fun. Here. Can I talk about A this? lot of live entertainment. Do you read me? <laughs> hello. Come on down to the tobacco festival. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. You want to tell anybody hello? You want to tell Russell hello? Hey, Russell. Okay. <laughs> Friend of ours. <laughs> Be sure to head on down to Lake City this weekend. There's so much to do, and you're going to have a great time. So we'll see you here. You got have it. a great weekend. Have a great weekend, everybody. <laughs> Watching News Channel 15, your station.